Paul Hegarty, thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. How about your pre-season? What's happening? Well, I mean, things were going okay, but then we pick up a few injuries um, uh, to two our centre halves, you know. And as I said, that is probably the one position that we thought we were strong defensively, wise not. But we'll get up and get on with it, you know. Uh, probably the thing that uh, overshadowed that about is the fact that there's a good buzz about the place and that, and people in the northwest are really, uh, really looking forward to this new season, and rightly so. And the players uh, really look focused. Uh, and, and they're really looking forward to it. What happened to the two guys in centre halves? Well, Jonathan Manuk has uh, damaged his Achilles. He had an ongoing problem with it for the last couple of seasons and that, but we hope we rest over the, the close season that, but it helped it. But in his second match in pre season, uh, uh, it's flared up very badly this time all together. You know, it's a possibility he could be out for six months, you know, uh, but we're waiting on the results of a scan on, on Friday, so hopefully it mightn't be as severe as we initially thought. Mark McKendy pulled his groin against Sligo last Friday night and he could be out for an hang up to four weeks. Looking ahead to the season, what's, ahead, what's you know, the first match coming up very soon? Yeah, the Cove match, I mean, probably did not need that after playing Cove last year four times and that. Uh, we'll be well used to one another and that. Cove are a very strong side and I think they'll surprise a lot of clubs this season. I mean, realistically, people will probably be thinking ourselves and Cove will be uh, for relegation this year. but. I think maybe one or two of us, or maybe the both of us, might surprise a few teams. Stephen Henderson's doing a good job there. Stephen Henderson's done a marvellous job on a very small budget there, uh, and quite deserved to win the first division last year. You know, and, uh, it was a tremendous achievement for him, and he's a great bunch of players there that work really hard for him and that. And and the respect of things going on at Cove, you know, they're trying to build the club and that. And uh, I think that's very important. And I think uh, for Stephen, I think realistically as well. Uh, I think you'd probably be looking to try and stay up just, you know. What about uh, looking forward to the season? You must be going to get into it, really, eh? Well, we are. Uh, I mean, uh, it's great that you have that, that people are coming up to you in the States and, and just asking about how things are going in pre-season and stuff like that. And just really looking forward to the first match of the season. And then, obviously, the big one, you're away to Derry. Then in the second match, everybody in the North West really looks forward to that one. You know, and it'll be a, a massive game as well. But, oh, we're trying to focus on the minute just trying to get a, a positive result against Cove. So what's your aim, aspiration for the year? Well, probably uh, if somebody said to you like, that you'd be in the Premier Division the following season, I think uh, most people would accept that as being a good season. But I expect a bit more from my players. You know, I think uh, the belief that they have in one another now and um, with a few additions to the squad, and then hopefully we can do much better than that. But you never know. Um, you can pick up a run of injuries and stuff like that. and You just don't know how things are going to pan out. But probably <coughs> if we were to be given now uh, a place in the Premier Division the following season, then we would take it. And uh, if you could pick a team to watch out for, who, who would it be? I think probably, once again, I think, um, out of the, other than the, the big four, probably, I think Derry City will be the team this season that will be there, thereabouts. Thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net once again. Thank you very much.